Well, hello, Gemini. Ed Dee here with Lone Stone Productions, where we help you find your true north. All right, welcome to my channel. It's a pleasure having you here. All right, so we're going to do a general reading for the month of December. One moment, please. Hmm. Okay. So bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So timing is fluid. Um, also, there are no gender. There is no gender for spirit. So when I talk about something that is masculine or something that is feminine, I'm talking about the energy signature, not necessarily the body parts. Also, um, bear in mind that this is a general reading, which means that not everything is going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, I'm talking to all of the Gemini, regardless of your placement in any cross watchers. Welcome, welcome. Uh, do come and sit a while. I hope that you find your way back. Um, also, if you would like a more personal reading, information on con contact information will be in the description box. Um, also, come and follow me on my other social media platforms Instagram, TikTok. Um, Facebook, all of that information will also be in the description box. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get down to it, shall we? All right, angels, spirits, guides, uh, what information do we have for the sign of Gemini for the month of December 2020? Gemini, December 2020. Gemini, December 2020. I am not going to sing Outcast because I'm pretty sure that you all get that enough as it is but i'm thinking okay gemini december 2020. so we've got the two of pentacles nine of swords six of cups two of pentacles is clarified by the page of cups and the three of cups Nine of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Six of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles with the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Play with it. Bring it back down, bring it back down tonight. Ooh, all right. So, hmm, hmm. All right, Mary J. Blige, real love. I'm juggling my real love. All right, so I've got. The Two of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So there's, oh, oh, hmm, okay, so this could be a cup, I'm looking, I see a couple of scenarios here, whether we're we're trying to keep all of the balls in the air. Uh, between a new a new emotional like a new emotional connection or several emotional connections old busted new hotness what you know versus what could be what you know versus what could be like Like I'm getting, I'm getting here. Like this, this three of cups. It's I, I, I keep hearing, I keep hearing urn from Atlanta. But this works for me. Does it? Because if it was really, does it though? I mean, it it appears on the surface that it works, but there's something about this this page of cups. This uh, 
this information, this new information that's coming in, that's kind of got you like, So in, and in the next row, we've got the Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So again, is this really working for you? Because I, I see I see a lot, a lot of thought being put into this situation and, and, and almost like the urge to just throw it all away in search for something a bit more symbiotic, dare I say, a little more equal. Hmm? Um, yeah, um, there's, and then even coming down to the next row, you've got the Six of Cups, which could either, again, mean like, happy times, times of the past, uh, something from, you know, like childhood, maybe. Can it be that it was all so simple then? You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, I'm going to be singing with y'all today. Yeah. I'm, I'm singing with y'all today. Um, and I see, yeah, yeah. And then there's the Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So not only are we thinking about throwing it all away, now there's, you got some muscle behind it to throw it all away. But the thing about like the Knight of Swords, it's like, yes, it's strong energy, but it's a young energy and it's not fully harnessed energy. It's potent. It's, it's, it's potent. It's powerful. But it's, it's scattered. So... While the Knight of Swords may feel very strongly about, you know, cutting it all off. The Knight of Swords may very well cut it all off. You know, it's, there's, there's a, there's a, whoa, 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 whoa. And then, it, and, and fully clear, but further, further clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, like, when you're talking about the Seven of Pentacles, you want to see, you're, you, you're in that that frame of mind where you're looking at who's benefiting from your work. Who's benefiting from what you're putting in? You, you, you're putting all the ingredients together, but you ain't getting no cake. Like, why, why am I not getting cake? Like, I, I, I did the mixing and the measuring, and I put, I could smell the cake. Who's eating the cake? So, it's... All right, so let's... Let's go back to this first row with the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Cups. And we're going to get a little more information on this part of the story. Can you clarify the Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Three of Cups for Gemini? Let's see. Six of Wands, the Moon, and the World. Got some quiet victories happening over here. Gotta, gotta jump back and kiss yourself moment. Looks like. But it's being done in secrecy. Either that and either that or, or, or. This, there's going to be an end to the secrecy. Uh oh. You're still gonna come out. You're still gonna come out victorious. But whatever you've been, whatever's been happening, what whatever's been, whatever's been happening in the dark, or what whatever whatever this whatever this silent victory is, um, it's the silent part of it is about done. Yeah. So let's look at the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Let's uh, clarify that, see if we got some more information on that as well. Let's check it out. 
Seven of Wands, Four of Cups, and Two of Cups. So, real love! Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Because the we got the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is like an almost like a it's an unstable kind of defense. You know? It's it's the it's the it's the who's that peeking in my window kind of vibe, you know? And with the four of cups, it's this I, I I like to call it the spoiled brat card because with the four of cups the character is always more, more than likely the character is depicted as like looking down or kind of you know sitting back and chilling and looking at the three cups that are empty and completely unaware of the one cup that spirit is handing like the gift which is the ace of cups which is like a, the potential for a potential for the Ten of Cups, right? It just needs to be cultivated. It needs to be embraced and cultivated. And so with this Four of Cups, it's like, you know, I've got all this stuff and yeah, I'm bored. I'm so bored. Like, I want something exciting. I need some exciting love. Like, the flip. And it's, right here it, it's it's here and available and like the two of cups is a a solid union of souls right this doesn't necessarily have to be romantic love this could be like a really good lifelong friend this could be you know getting a job that you absolutely love that's going to fulfill all of your wants not just your physical wants but your emotional wants a healthy work-life balance like it's when you 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 get the thing that puts your heart at ease truly puts your heart at ease like there's yeah you've got potential for that okay and to clarify the Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Let's check that out. Let's see. Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands, and Temperance. Yeah, man, you've got some choices to make. You've got some balance to maintain. Cause, and it's, it's all heart and passion with you. Like this go around because you've got the Knight of Cups, right? You've got the Ten of Wands and Temperance. So, what I'm seeing here is like young emotion, the same way that with the Knight of Swords, it's strong, it's passionate, but it's undeveloped thought. Right, so with the Knight of Wands, young, passionate, yet undeveloped emotion. All right, powerful stuff. Like if anybody knows, like the most powerful force we have on this planet is the power of the youth. I've got theories on that, but literally the power of the youth is like, it's, it's one of the most powerful energies on this planet and then we've got the ten of wands so hanging on to or or navigating all of this young passionate undeveloped energy takes a lot out of you it's probably why you're juggling what's happening here right but it'll it'll take a lot out of you and you have to temper that with good old-fashioned common sense sometimes you know you, you've got to you've got to walk that line of strength and finesse of this 
and that of hard and soft and and what is tangible and what is intangible you know you're you're learning how learning how to cool off the iron or to successfully forge the steel yeah so uh, let's go ahead and get some final messages. Final messages for Gemini. Three of Pentacles. Justice. Oh, there it is in the Ten of Cups. Come on now. Come on, kids. All right. So the Three of Pentacles is talking about coming together with coming together with others to be able to build resources okay um justice good old-fashioned karmic justice um it is decided spirit has decided and the thing about this justice is that this justice is always fair okay and the ten of cups so we've got long-standing emotional fulfillment long-standing happiness in the cards here um, yeah this is this is this is beautiful like Gemini this is great so I do hope that this resonated with you Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Um, also, be sure to, if this resonated, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because I will upload all of the time. Um, and if this does not resonate with you, check your other placements. Um, yeah, check your other placements. Thinking if there's something else that I need to tell you. Oh, yes. <laughs> be good to yourselves and be good to one another. And I will see you all next time. Adios, Gemini. <laughs>